Welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess! Last time we went through most of Snow Peak Mansion and we were able to, well, cover a lot of ground. This time what we want to do is, well, finish covering a lot of ground. We basically want to finish this place if we can. I'd, I'd like to finish this place this episode, but I can't guarantee anything, but I am going to try. And some of you viewers have been telling me some of your funny, snowy stories, and well, I'm getting a nice kick out of them. Yeah, if you also want to contact me, if you don't feel, well, like messaging me through YouTube, or maybe you don't have a YouTube account, I also have a Twitter that's linked on my YouTube channel page. Alright, so take this cannonball up to the cannon. Now we're going to get our bombs out, too, while we're at it. Or water bombs. I've never tried putting a, uh, the other special bomb into the cannon yet. Haven't got in this Let's Play, so I don't want to spoil it yet, but, uh, yeah, I, I haven't tried that one. Maybe those will work, but, eh. If you have it, you know why. That I'm kind of conspicuous. Alright. Now let's shoot the cannon over there. And then head on over there. I... I don't think you can just... Well, I might be able to just climb over the blocks. Let's see. Oh, okay, yeah, we can. We don't have to go around. Sweet! And for some reason, I thought I could go around. As far as I know, you can't just throw the cannonball over the blocks. Link doesn't throw it really high or far. Alright. Here, let's go ahead and put that there. Break this, because that will allow us to, well, get up here later with our claw shot instead of walking all the way around. Uh... When there is going away, well, by the time I record this, it's January, near the end of January. By the time I upload this, it's probably mid-February or something, but, uh, all right. Let's go ahead and take the cannon, move it around to where we need to move it to. Don't worry, Link won't fall down or anything. I like the Snow Peak Mansion, though. Moving the cannon around and trying to blast enemies out of your way or an icy door. It sort of reminds me of Resident Evil 4 when you're, you gotta rise and bring up the cannon in order to... Alright, let's go head on over there. You had to bring up the, the cannon there to shoot open the door. And yeah, it was a pretty tough way to get in, but oh, I thought it was cool. I liked it a lot. I like Resident Evil 4. Oh, I like the Resident Evil series. I like the Kirby series. I like the Mario series. Of course I... I like the Zelda series. There we go. I just knock him off the edge. Here. Get off the edge. There we go. Oh, Tales of Symphonia. I love the snowy area in that game. Flanor. Oh, it's beautiful. And then, like, the Temple of Ice. I like that place a lot, too. And then the, the scene with Lloyd and Colette. Oh, it's awesome. I, I would let's play Tales of Symphonia one day. And Resident Evil 6. I mean, I really like to do those games. I like those games a lot. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey! Oh! Hey dude, how's it going? Backslice you! Woo! Get out of the way! Help splitter! Alright, you guys stand on match against me! Jeez, how many guys are there? Alright. Maybe I can get more than one. Aw. Oh. oh, good. I got it on the back sling. Kill you. There we go. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Oh, I thought one dropped a red rupee, but I guess I'm too late to getting it. Oh, these chairs kind of like a cathedral area. Or something like that, I suppose. Alright, not bad. Making good progress. Okay, this better not be food this time. Cool, now we get the bedroom key. Alright, now we can go to the bedroom and get that mirror. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Yeah, it sure is. Let's go on and go get it. The bedroom's, like, right up the walkway from here, too. There's nothing stopping us now. Oh, Tales of Symphonia. I like the RPG elements and everything in that game. How you level up and how you take your game, uh, your post-game content to a new game plus and level up your stats the way you want to. Uh, I really have to play Tales of Symphonia again. I need to make a test room though before I let's play it, because I don't know all the enemy's weaknesses. I started one a long time ago, but I never got around to finishing that test run, so I'm just going around starting the whole game over from scratch. I mean, I could just let's play the game, but I 
I wouldn't know all the enemy's weaknesses right off the top of my head. I'd have to use, like, the monster scope and figure it out and then tell you guys individually instead of just automatically knowing it. Monster lens. That's what it's called. Scope. Lens. Sorry. Oh. Of course. Will we be going ice skating? No. I like sledding, though. That's fun, too. Oh, I remember one time I had a huge snowball fight in front of my house. What the... And my friend was in front of his house, and it was back in fourth grade, and it was just myself and my friend, and then my friend's uh, two brothers, and older and younger brother, and we went against them, and we had a, it was a fun snowball fight. Used to make snow angels too, and well, my dad used to take me sledding when I was five years old back in the day. Well, it is a good looking mirror. Uh. Has a nice design on it, if you mean my pretty, I suppose. Yeah, okay. It's a pretty mirror. Why are you done saying it's pr uh... Did you have too much sugar? Cause you're kind of twitching. Twitching a lot. Are you okay, Yetta? Oh jeez! I don't mean to piss you off! No, you, you can have the mirror, I no. I, okay, we need, we need the mirror, but... Holy cow, Yetta! What? What happened? Alright, uh, she is possessed, like, the Exorcist movie or something. Oh, boy. She is... Okay, man, it's getting cold in here. Wow, she turned into a... What did he turn into? Twilight Ice Mask Blazetta! Alright, bring it on? <laughs> Basically, if it's not obvious already, use the ball and chain. And use it to break down this. Oh, oh, there we go. Get on the back swing. There we go. Watch out for the ice. Uh, crap! I missed. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Watch out for those. There we go. Come back, little Zeta. So we get from possessing Yetta. I'll kick your butt. Oh, that was a pretty easy boss. All right. Oh. You done? You done playing around, Blizzetta? Uh, no, we just pissed her off. Lovely. I tend to do that a lot with people. Okay. Okay, not recently, but... Woo! Uh, okay, run! She is gonna crush us with ice. Now, use the reflection in the, the ice to see how many blocks she has. Okay, shoot. No! God damn it, I missed my chance. Yeah, that's how I missed my chance. I had to destroy one before I can uh, get Blazetta. Alright, let's grab a heart. Ooh, jeez! Alright, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Alright, there we go. You want to break one. Give yourself an opening so when she tries to cave you in, you can just get out. And that's where we can get Lizetta. There we go, we got her. Ah, we hit her once. We got a couple more times, though. Uh, can we talk about this? I don't mean to piss you off. Okay, maybe not. Alright, I love the music here, though. It's really different than the other Zelda boss music that we've heard before. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, how do I always miss that? Damn, damn, God, okay. Uh, okay, at least I gave myself an opening this time. On the bright side, I don't have to worry about it. I always miss it by one. I, maybe I should start counting these things or something. Okay, run around. Keep running around. All right. No, I'm not gonna get another one anytime soon. Okay. All right, Blizzetta. Don't play games with you. you. Giant ice piece of crap. Come on, bring it on! Think that's all I got? Okay. Let's run around this way. Oh, I still got hit. On the bright side, it was not the last one, so I'm able to create myself an uh, opening. Where's my opening? Ugh. All right. Okay, she 
She's being tough this time. I'll give you some credit, Lizette. You knocked down way more health than I thought you would. A lot more. Alright. Come on! Bring it on, Lizetta! I think I'm done! Not yet, woman! Not yet! Get some! Well, I should say Ice Beast or Snowy Beast or the Yetis. Not done, Miss Yeti! Oh! Man, that was a lot harder than it should have been. Okay, I recommend counting those things from now on. So, is the mirror, like, as dark as a fuse shadow, Midna? Would you want to explain this to me? Because I didn't think the mirror would freaking possess people and... Yeah. We didn't kill her, did we? Well, we do have two. Yeah. Two down, two to go! But, uh... We... <laughs> yeah, well... I feel bad now because she's better, but uh. I mean, what can I do? She was gonna kill me! I mean, you saw the room, right, Minna? Jeez! Oh, yeah. The world's always cruel, Minna. Sure will. Yeah, we don't want more innocent creatures suffering because of the mirror shards. Because Zant decides to go hide them now. I should at least tell Yeti to take. Oh, get out to take you out to a hospital. Uh, I, I didn't mean to, dude. I'm sorry. She was trying to kill me. I have an excuse. Oh, well, she's not dead. That's good. One video game death that choked me up as a kid was uh, Aria in Final Fantasy III. It was well, I thought it was pretty sad, but that's just me. Look into your eyes. Oh, the reflection of Yeto's eyes. Oh. Well, how romantic! Oh. Yeah, why do you need a mirror when you got eyes, right? Oh. How sweet. And love is in the air! Heck, if I upload us near Valentine's Day, well, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, and that's how we're gonna get our heart container. And that's cool too, because, well, I need the heart container. Now we have 13 hearts. Well, let's go ahead and get out of here. There's nothing else I need. Just get the three postals, the ball and chain, complete the dungeon, well, the Snow Peak Mansion, and get your heart container. That's pretty much all you need to get here. Oh. Uh, I, I love Snow Peak though. The whole Snow Peak area, the snowy mountains, the memories of sledding, snowball fighting, ice skating, and wanting to go snowboarding, and the music. I love it all. There's no reason for me not to love Snow Peak. Well, guess it's time to equip my normal items again. Oh, wait. No, there is one more thing I want to do this episode before I forget. Let's go ahead and go back to the Snow Peak top. There's one more postal that I usually forget for some reason. Oh, when, I, when I'm getting them all, I forget this one. So let's go ahead and go back and get it. Remember that was the ice in the cave that we were at earlier? Yeah, now's the time to go back and get it. And there's also some side quests we're gonna be doing in the next episode as well that involves uh, Snow Peak and using the ball and chain to get more stuff. So let's go ahead and just jump down. Hi, keys. Oh, you got lucky I was grabbing the edge. Die. I hate those things, I swear. I've been recording like five episodes and I have not got a five rupee. Oh, okay. I did. I thought I did. Anyways, let's go ahead and break the ice in here. And that's going to, well, show us a puzzle. I think it's... Okay, you're me. I get it. You're Mr. Poe. And all you puzzles are like little, little versions of death. Got like the scythe and everything. Alright. That, I think that's puzzle number 43. Yeah. Okay. Puzzle number 43. Not bad. Oh, where's my lantern? Alright. Now, since there's torches down here, we can light them. And for lighting both torches, it shows us... Oh, another treasure chest. A 
they think there's money in it. You're absolutely correct. I, I, I'm guessing 50. Let's find out. It's... Oh, 100! Wow, that's a lot better than 50. Alright, so next time we'll be doing some side quests and other stuff. Fun stuff. Next time on Let's Play Twilight Princess. Have a good day!